Hi everyone, my name is Paira, I am from Mongolia, so today I will be listing the 5 things I love about living in Mongolia. So the idea behind this channel is to give you the information about Mongolia without censorship and filtering of uh, mainstream media. Through this channel I want to help people to discover real Mongolia, life and opinions of normal everyday people. So let's go, 5 things I love about living in Mongolia. First and the most important one is our unique culture, tradition and history. You see, we are very proud people. We are proud of our rich history, our great ancestors and the legacy that they have left behind for us to hold dear. I especially love our traditional nomadic herding lifestyle, which is basically the core of our identity. Mongolians have always been nomadic herders and everything is connected to it. Clothing, games, cuisine, arts, costumes and so forth. I must say, some of my fellow countrymen aren't really fond of it as much as I do. They said it's backwards way of life and they look down on the people who herd sheep and goats. They are mostly young people who were born and raised in the city and have never experienced life in the countryside. Their outlook on life is heavily influenced by the media. They think in order to be happy, they need designer clothes, shiny cars, latest smartphones and five-story condo. I used to spend my summer holidays in the countryside when I was young, help my grandmother with everyday herder family chores such as fetching water from a river, collecting dried cow dungs in a wooden basket as a fuel, and herding sheep and goats on horseback. I didn't realize how happy and peaceful life it was until I started traveling around the world and was exposed to the different cultures and lifestyles. People talk about the ways of living in harmony with nature these days, but for me, a nomadic herding lifestyle is one of the best examples of living in harmony with nature. Because they live at the mercy of nature to have an abundant pasture for their animals, nomadic herders have this immense respect for nature. They never pollute rivers, they never leave trash behind, they never ill-treat animals. They just simply live on what they could borrow from the nature and give that back later. I might be biased here since I grew up in the countryside, but there is no way to deny the fact that nomadic herding lifestyle is our core identity. And it makes me feel sad to see that more and more people are abandoning this lifestyle to live in the city. The main reason is, I think, climate change. The second thing I love about living in Mongolia is our way of thinking. Our attitude towards life is fairly relaxed and positive. If you have ever been to Mongolia, you know what I'm talking about. We like to laugh, we like to smoke, and we like to celebrate life with abundant food. So basically we are hobbits, in the step. People explain our untroubled and easy-go mindset in many ways, but for me, there are two main reasons. First, our traditional nomadic hurting lifestyle. Imagine living yourself in an environment where you don't need to worry about time and place. No deadline, no traffic congestion, and no rat race. Just endless blue sky above your head and the vast open grasslands in front of you. You have your life, your friends and your livestock. You can gallop to whichever direction you want on the horseback, feeling wind in your hair and the sun on your face. Well, of course, I'm overgeneralizing things and leaving out the details of nomads' everyday life. You have to wake up early. You need to take care of your animals all the time. You have to remain vigilant of predators constantly. It's not an easy life, it's not a comfortable life either, but it sure is a peaceful life, one that is in harmony with nature. It's also a family business, so everybody in the family helps. Your neighbors also lend a hand. I think the sense of community is much stronger in the countryside than in the city, because herders know one another pretty well and help each other out whenever there is a problem. So that's the one reason why we have generally a laid-back attitude in Mongolia especially in the countryside. Being hospital to guests is deeply ingrained in our culture and tradition. You can expect it in every corner of our country. The second reason is, I think, our small population. As of 2020, 3 million and 300,000 people are living in this vast country. Our population density is 2 people per kilometer square. Because we have such a small population, everyone knows everyone here. Well, almost. If you don't know someone, your friend or your friend's friend surely knows that person. 
So what happens if you know everybody? You can get out of troubles without facing consequences. With this idea in mind, people tend to have less worries when it comes to life's problems. Why worry when there are ways of getting around laws and regulations? Unfortunately, this kind of mindset also provides a breeding ground for bribery, corruption and nepotism. Because of it, inequality is everywhere and we are not developing as fast as we should. So it comes with cost. I live in Ulaanbaatar, the capital, along with almost half of the country's population. It's a pretty crowded and cramped city full of noises. But if I need some air and alone time in the solitude, I only need 30 minutes to get out of here. Ulaanbaatar is surrounded by mountains as it is located in the mountainous northern central region. If I drive south, I will be able to chill in the Gobi Desert. If I drive west, there are a lot of lakes and rivers. And on the eastern side, endless green grasslands where our great-great-grandfather Chinggis Khan was born and raised. So I'm very happy to live in a, such a beautiful country with a diverse landscape. By the way, my home province, Zaohan, is located 1000 kilometers west of Ulaanbaatar. It's a pretty mixed region in terms of landscape, where you can experience everything from sand dunes, freshwater lakes, to snow-capped mountains. Oh, by the way, one of the most sacred mountains in Mongolia, Ohtundingri, is also located here. So I recommend it. Whenever I visit a foreign country, this is what I miss the most. Cheap cost of living. According to Nambio, a crowdsourced global database website, rent prices in Ulaanbaatar are almost 60% lower than in Moscow, 70% lower than in Beijing our two neighbors. Also, consumer prices in Ulaanbaatar are 19% lower than in Moscow, 30% lower than in Beijing. Of course, we have to take certain things into account such as average salary, GDP per capita and local purchasing power when talking about these things. But these are just numbers. As an average working class member, I have a pretty comfortable life. Where else I can have a nice dinner with my lady in mid-range restaurant for 21 US dollars then head home by public transport that costs 17 cents. Things are even better if you're a foreigner or a high achiever who earns big bucks. So the fifth thing is a little bit different from the rest. It's about uh, the chance to help develop your country and witness the progress in person. I was having this conversation with my friend who studied in the US about her decision to come back to Mongolia. She had a comfortable life in the US and uh, could have stayed there if she wanted, but she didn't. So she basically said that uh, in a developed country, everything has already been done. There is nothing to improve and upgrade. And though it is a comfortable life, it is still a foreign country. And deep inside, you always know that you have a moral obligation to help develop your country and uh, make a contribution. So her answer made me think, it changed the direction I was taking. We may be living in a less developed country and we may lack things that some people in some countries take for granted and maybe there is a hundred year gap between United States and Mongolia in terms of uh, everything. But it is our homeland, it is our birthplace. So maybe the most fulfilling and the rewarding thing I can do in life is help develop my country, provide my people with things that some people take for granted witness the great historical events and achievements of my country in person. Everything is possible, everything is in your hands, and that's why I love living in Mongolia, the land of endless possibilities. Thank you for watching my video, if you want to know more about Mongolia, please consider subscribing. In my next video, I will talk about the 5 things I hate living in Mongolia. It will be a little bit a controversial video, but uh, I had to do it, so see you soon.